So this has a sequence that we practice um, is all about opening the heart. It always is really about opening the chest or opening the heart space. Um, but today we'll just really try and pay some extra attention to this part of the body and try and allow your awareness here to stay with that part of the body. So think or bring your awareness into the heart space. And as you move through this practice, as you come into each pose, really try and keep your awareness here. So the heart space is not just the front of your body, so this part, it's also the sides, but it's also your back. So try and keep your awareness here and try and allow it to open and try and allow it to start to breathe. So let's start by lying down on your back. Then take up as much space as you feel comfortable. And just take a few breaths here. Allow yourself to land in the space, to land in your mat, to really land in your body. And with your next breath, bring your awareness here into the center of your chest, the heart space, so the front, both sides, your back, and see if you can allow the breath here just to flow straight in, into the heart space. So take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Now deeply. And exhale slowly. Take one more big deep breath in, expanding into the chest. Nice exhale out. And then slowly draw your knees here into your chest. So hold on to your knees, hold on to your shins. We're going to just gently rock, roll out to your lower back. So you can just gently rock side to side, connect to the base of your spine and really connect to your lower back. We move it out or massage it out. And place your right hand on your right knee, your left hand on your left knee, and begin to circle the hips here, or the knees here, through the ass. So knees circle in one direction, so you're lubricating the hip joints. And then circle the opposite direction. And let's come into happy baby. So catch the soles here of your feet. Stack your ankles here over your knees and just gently draw your knees past your rib cage here towards the floor. Promote the length here of your spine. Lightly press the back of your head against the mat. Lightly draw your chin here towards your chest. So you're creating more length through the spine or anchoring down through the back of your hips. And slowly press your right foot into your right hand. Lengthen your right leg here as much as you can without letting go of your foot. And bend your right knee. Lengthen out your left leg here. Press the left foot into your hand. Try not to let go of that left foot. And bend your left knee. Now lengthen out both legs, both at the same time. Keep your feet flexed. Try not to lift your bum here too much. And you can let go of your feet. You can Catch the backs of your legs here. And then bend your knees. Draw both knees into your chest. Just give yourself that really nice tight squeeze. Take a big deep breath in. Nice exhale out. Stretch your left leg here down the mat. Hold on to your right knee. Take a big deep breath in. And then exhale, take your right knee across the body, over to the left. Take your right arm here out to the side. Keep your right shoulder nice and close to the mat. And see so if you can send the breath here into the right side of your ribcage, to the right side of that heart space. And 
and slowly bring your knee all the way back up again. And switch sides. So stretch your right leg down the mat, hold on to your left knee again, inhale. And then exhale, take your left knee across the body over to the other side. Take your left arm out to the side, keep your left shoulder close to the mat, and again, send the breath into the left side of your ribcage, the left side, that heart space. And then slowly bring your knee all the way back up again. Draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself that little tight squeeze again. Inhale. Exhale. And cross your right ankle here over your left. Roll up. Come to sit here. Come and sit cross-legged. Place your right foot in front of your left. Lift out of your lower back. Lengthen. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly start to fall forward. Walk your hands here forward, see if you can actively press your sit bones back and down and soften into the right hip. Breathe into your back, breathe into your right hip. And walk your hands here to the left. Take your forehead to your left knee. Your right sit bone to feel heavy. Open again the right side of your rib cage. Right sit bone to keep nice and heavy. Then walk your hands over to the other side and take your forehead here to your right knee. Allow your left sit bone to feel heavy. And again, set the breath into the left side of your body, the left side of your rib. And then walk your hands back to the center. Lift yourself up, come to sit, reverse the hands here behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades here towards each other. Really try to puff your chest up to opening the heart space. Inhale, exhale. And then slowly come back to center and switch your feet here around. So left foot in front of your right. Again, lift out of your lower back, lengthen, inhale, and exhale, slowly start to fall forward. So walk your hands here forward, actively try to press your sit bones here back and down, soften your left hip, breathe into your back, breathe into your hips. Lightly turn your belly here. Trying to keep the belly engaged so you can access the back body here with your breath, the back of your heart with your breath. Now walk your hands here to the right. Take your forehead to your right knee. Allow your left hip bone here to feel heavy and breathe into the left side. And then walk your hands again through the center and over to the other side. Take your forehead to your left knee. Allow your right hip bone now to feel heavy and then breathe into the right side. And then slowly walk your hands back into the center. Lift yourself up, come to sit, reverse the hands again behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades here towards each other, really try to open the chest up. Inhale, exhale. And then come back or come onto all fours. So come onto your hands and your knees. Place your hands directly underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes here, and then lift your sit bones and tear them, come into downward facing dog. And here start to paddle out your feet, so you're walking the legs out of the spot. Bending the knees, gently swaying the hips here side to side. Allow your head and neck here to feel heavy. Press the floor here away with your hands, create space through all sides of your body. Maybe gently sway your head and neck here, side to side. And look between your hands and slowly step it towards your hands. Come into a forward fold at the top of your mat, soften your knees here slightly, catch opposite elbows, and just gently sway your upper body side to side. Allow your whole upper body here to feel really heavy. So you drop your head and you drop your back. And 
Really drop your hands. Now root down here through your feet. Press the floor and bring yourself here all the way up to stand. Reach your arms here all the way up. Maybe you look up. Exhale, drop it back into your heart. And release your hands. So coming into Tadasana, into Mountain Pose, like Neutral Pose. Um, keep your hips directly stacked above your ankles. Think about the bony bits of your hips and your rib bones and draw those towards each other. Lift your chest, open the chest, open that heart space, lengthen your collarbone, slide the shoulder blades onto your back and just softly turn the palms of your hands open and slightly up towards the ceiling. Really allow yourself here to feel grounded, grounded through your feet. So let your shoulders get slightly. So coming into our pranayama to move any stale energy out of the body, along through the body. And also firing up that sort of inner fire. You should feel your body heating up slightly through this breathing exercise. So inhale, arms up. Lift your arms up. Reach up. Again, maybe look up. Exhale out through your nose. And really try to push all the air, all the air out. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Try to inhale the sound. And exhale the sound. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. So keep going, inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Let's just do three more. Last one, extra big deep breath in. Really fill the lungs all the way to the top and then exhale out through your nose. Come back to your Tadasana. Come back to neutral, drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and really notice the ground of your feet. And maybe have that awareness again into the chest area, the heart space. And inhale, arms up. And with your left wrist here, catch your right, you know, with your left hand, catch your right wrist. And lengthen through your belly, lift your chest, inhale, exhale, take yourself over to the left. Now lengthen out the right side body. Keep knitting the front of your belly here towards each other. Keep your chest nice and open, so the heart space is nice and open. And try and open into the right side of the ribcage, again, the right side of your heart. Lift your lower belly to lift your pelvic floor and try to press your feet nice and evenly here into the mat. Keep reminding yourself here to breathe. And inhale, slowly come up. And switch your hands here around, right hand on the left wrist. Again, lengthen, inhale. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Lengthen out the left side body. Again, gently take your hips here to the left. Near the front of your belly here towards each other. Lift your chest, keep drawing the shoulders down your back. Keep your chest nice and open. Draw hip points, rib points towards each other. Every exhale will take you slightly deeper. Keep pressing the edges of your feet here now. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release the hands. Back to Tadasana, back to neutral. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, slowly fold. Now hook the big toes here with your middle and index finger. Press the big toes onto your fingers, press the heels into the mat, and slowly start to feed your belly and your chest here closer to your legs. Hollow out your belly, lift your kneecaps up, roll the inner thighs back, and then gently shake your head and neck here side to side. If it's really easy for you to draw the elbows away from each other, and see if you can maybe hug them back towards your shins. Press the big toes onto your fingers, press the heels into the right mat. And again, gently shake your head and neck here side to side. 
then release your toes, press the floor away, bring yourself here all the way up to stand, reach up, maybe look up, exhale, draw it back into your heart, and then release your hands. So drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and really notice the grounding of the feet. Now take your hands into your lower back, and you support your lower back here. You have the option to point your fingers up or down. If you're pointing the fingers up, you can have a little bit more of a wrist opener. Squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades towards each other. So this could already be enough where you're really coming into the chest. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, gently feed your hips forward. Maybe drop your head and neck all the way back. So try to lift your chest here to the ceiling, the heart space to the ceiling. Hips here forward. Press your feet really firmly into the mat. Only drop your head and neck if it feels comfortable on your neck and your throat. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release the hands back to Tadasana, back to neutral. Now inhale, hands up. Exhale, slowly fold. Look at your feet here. Make sure that the insides of your feet are parallel with each other and your feet are hip distance apart. We're going to come to chair pose. So slowly bend your knees, bring your thighs here parallel to the floor, reach your arms here forwards and up. Try to sit back slightly. Lift your cubic bone up towards your belly button. Draw your point and rib waist towards each other so your belly is really firmly engaged. Try to maybe take your bum back slightly and drop your hips just a tiny bit more. And then exhale, slowly fold. So again, we're going to come back to chair pose. So we're going to repeat the previous pose. Bend your knees, bring your thighs here parallel to the floor. Reach your arms here forwards and up. Always can reach your arms forwards if reaching up is too much. Press the ends of your feet down. And lift your chest. You can work into that open chest. Press the edge of your feet down, try to bring your thighs here parallel to the floor. And exhale, slowly fold. Now bring your feet here together. So let the big toe mounts to touch. When you look at your feet, make sure that the, uh, the feet are still parallel with each other. So maybe just the big toe mounts touch. Bend your knees, bring your thighs again parallel to the floor. Reach your arms here forwards and up. And hands in prayer in front of your chest and take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Lift your chest here up towards your thumbs. Draw your belly really firmly away from your legs. Again, chest, heart space up towards your thumbs. So you should feel like you can open the chest. Inhale, come up through the center. Exhale, take it over to the other side. So right elbow against the outside of your left knee. Lift your chest. Up towards your thumbs, draw your belly really firmly away from your legs rather than collapsing so you can open and lengthen the chest, lengthen the collarbone. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, release, stand up. And again, separate your feet here back to your hip distance apart, come back to your mountain pose or neutral pose. Relax the shoulders, take a natural breath. And notice the grinding of your feet. And we'll step out into warrior two. So you step your right foot to the front of your mat and your left foot here to the back of your mat. Look at your right heel and try to line the right heel up with the arch of your back foot. Bring your arch shoulder height. And on your exhale, bend your right knee 90 degrees. So look at your right kneecap. And try to get your right knee out to point to your second or third toe and keep your upper body centered between your feet. Really press the knife edge of your left foot really firmly into the mat. Feel like you're peeling your left hip bone back. Relax your shoulders slightly. Give yourself space to breathe. Maybe bend your right knee just a little bit more. And then move forward. Let your right elbow just land above the right knee, reach your left arm up, and then open the chest, open the heart space, create extra space between the shoulder blades, extra space for the back of your heart. You have the option here to extend your right arm, press your elbow against the knee, knee back against your elbow, try not to drop the right side of your body here to low, and again, keep reminding yourself here to breathe. And inhale, slowly come up. 
and lengthen out your right leg. Turn the toes in, so big toes point them towards each other. Heels are slightly turned out, arms are shoulder height here. Inhale, lift your lower belly, exhale, slowly fold. And just let your hands here land on the floor, lift and come halfway up, come up onto your fingertips again. Lift your chest forward and up, exhale, fold. And you can start to walk your hands back. You could reverse the fingers, very gently cool the floor to really open up your upper back and your shoulders. Drop your head, drop your neck. Press the outer edges of your feet here down. Lift the inner arches of your feet here up. Create space here through the back of your body by keeping the whole front side of your body really firmly engaged. And then walk your hands a little forward. Lift your chest from halfway up. Hands on your hips, engage your belly and your legs. Press the floor away and bring yourself up to stand. And then turn your left foot here towards the back of the room or the back of your mat. Take your arms to your shoulder height. Exhale, slowly you bend your left knee here, 90 degrees. So again, press the knife edge of your right foot really firmly into the mat. Center your upper body between your feet. See if you can stack your left knee above your left ankle. Relax your shoulders here slightly. Again, giving yourself that extra space to breathe. Chest is nice and open. And then move forward. Land your left elbow just above the knee. Take your right arm. Reach up towards the ceiling. So that left eye can look up at your right hand. Create space here through the left side of your body. And if it's there for you, extend your left arm, press your elbow in against your knee, your knee back against your elbow. Get extra space for the back of your heart, extra space here between your shoulder blades, and keep pressing the edges of your feet here down. And inhale, slowly come up. Extend your left leg and then draw the left toes in. So we're going to wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lift your lower belly. Exhale, slowly fold. And this time, land your hands on the calves, ankles. You might want to slide your fingers underneath the outer edges of your feet. Hollow out your belly. See if you can really send the crown of your head here to the floor. Press the outer edges of your feet here down. Then lift the inner arches of your feet here up. Drop your head, drop your neck. Keep reminding yourself to breathe. And so you release the hands. Walk your hands here forwards. Lift your chest, come halfway up. Hands on your hips, engage your belly and your legs. Press the floor away, you bring yourself up to stand. And then heel toe your feet closer together and step towards the front of your mat. Come back to your neutral pose, Tadasana. Drop the shoulders, take a natural breath, and notice the grounding of your feet. And put all your weight into your left foot. Bring your right foot up, turn the heel in, and place your right foot on the inside of your left leg, either above or below your knee. Just make sure that it's not against the knee joint. Hands in prayer in front of your chest. Press your foot against your leg, your leg back against your foot. And then inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. Draw the shoulders down, get open chest, relax your shoulders slightly, draw hip points, rib points here towards each other. Keep breathing. And slowly release the right foot, drop your right foot down and come back to Tadasana, back to neutral. And put the weight here into your right foot, lift your left foot up and place your left foot on the inside of your right leg. And press your foot against your leg, your leg back against your foot. Hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your chest. Lift your lower belly here. Then inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. And relax your shoulders slightly, give yourself space to breathe. Press your foot against your leg, your leg back against your foot. See if you can really ground your standing foot here. And then slowly release. Release your left foot, drop your left foot down and come back to Tadasana, back to neutral. Drop the shoulders, take a natural breath and notice the grounding of your feet. 
So now draw your right knee into your chest. Catch the knee here, give it that tight squeeze in towards your chest. Place your hands here on your hips. Begin to flex your right foot. And slowly start to kick out through the right heel. Try to raise your right leg here as high as possible. Lift your lower belly, squeeze your left buttock, and try to stand as tall as possible. Bend your right knee, bring your right foot down. Come back to Tadasana, back to neutral. And draw your left knee into your chest. Catch your knee here, give a very really tight squeeze in towards your chest. And place your hands here on your hips, flex your left foot. And slowly start to kick out through the left heel and try to raise your left leg here as high as possible. Squeeze your right buttock, lift your lower belly, and try to stand as tall as possible. And bend your left knee, hold your left foot down, and come back to Talas, back to neutral. Get the shoulders, take a natural breath, and notice the ground of your feet. Coming into eagle, so our eagle pose. So bend your left knee, take your right leg, wrap it up and open. You can take your foot round your calf or place your right big toe next to your standing foot. Take your right arm underneath your left, wrap your arms around each other, place the palms together. Inhale, draw legs through your spine, exhale, squeeze your legs in together, and just lower your bum. So now opening the space between your shoulder blades by bringing the elbows up, opening the back of your heart here. Lift the elbows up, focus on your breath, really try to find your focus point and breathe towards that point. Keep your hips square, see if you can bring your left hip forward slightly. And come into nesting eagle, drop your forearms, drop your torso, so squeeze your legs here together. Stay focused on your breath. Keep your belly here engaged. And then we'll come to that tricky transition. So unravel slowly. Take your right leg off your left. Begin to kick your right leg back, heel back. Option for your arms here to reach forward. Maybe to cactus the arms. Maybe to reach your arms back. Or have the hands in front of your heart. Maybe grind your left leg a little bit more by bending the knee. And try to not lift your right hip. Try to only lift that right leg. And then slowly bring your right leg back in. Tadasana, neutral. The shoulders, take a natural breath. Notice the balance of your feet. So now coming into our second side. So bend your right knee now. Take your left leg, wrap it up and open. Take your foot round your calf, and place your left big toe next to your standing foot. Take your left arm underneath your right, wrap your arms around each other. Then inhale, draw legs through your spine. Exhale, squeeze your legs here together and just lower your bum. And then opening the back of your heart by bringing your elbows up slightly. If it's there for you, maybe draw your arms a little bit further away from your face. Keep squeezing your legs together. Stay focused on your breath here. Bring your right hip forward instead of allowing that left hip to pop forward. And then come into the nesting eagle. So then drop the forearms, drop your torso. Your elbows away from your knees, so squeeze your legs here together, hollow out your belly, keep breathing, and then unravel slowly, taking your left leg here off your right, and arms can reach forward, that requires a little bit more core, you can squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other to open the chest, and you can reach your arms back, or hands in Anjali Mudra, in prayer, in front of your chest, and you're standing knees slightly, Connect your belly if you feel really wobbly. Allow your breath here to carry you through holding warrior three. And then slowly bring your left leg back in. Tadasana, neutral. Drop the shoulders, take a natural breath. And notice the ground of your feet. So now coming into our warm-up pose before the big chest opener. 
So step your left foot to the front and your right foot to the back of the mat. Place your hands here on your hips, bend your left knee, bend your right knee slightly, lift the right heel up. And then start to press your right heel back, lengthen your right leg, inhale, float your arms here up. Press the balls of your feet down, keep squaring the hips, so right hip forward, left hip back, zip up your belly. So you get a nice open chest, you should feel that you can breathe here. Press the balls of your feet down so you can magnetize your feet. And then slowly step your right foot back in. Tadasana, the neutral, dropping the shoulders, take the natural breath. And this is the ground of your feet. Now step your right foot to the front and your left foot here to the back of the mat. Again, that really nice wide step. Place the hands on your hips, bend your right knee, bend your left knee just slightly. And start to press the left heel back, lengthen your left leg, inhale, float your arms up. Create space through the left leg, engage your left leg by lifting the kneecap up. Create space through all sides of your upper body, both sides, the front and the back. Relax your shoulder slightly, you can open your chest here. And slowly step your left foot back in. Tadasana, and then neutral. Notice the grounding of your feet. Relax your shoulders here. So we're gonna come into our big chest, so we're going to dance this pose. Take this pose nice and slowly, and make this pose about opening the chest, opening that heart space, the front. So use your breath and try and come into it slowly. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Bend your right knee, catch your right foot. Bring your knees here together so they touch. Reach and lengthen through the left side of your body. Then exhale slowly, so to press the right foot into your hand. Just come into it slowly. If here is enough, stay here. Draw hip points, rib points towards each other. On the inhale, see if you can lift your chest more. On the exhale, press your foot back more. And just very slowly, see if you can breathe yourself slightly deeper into dancer's pose. So again, inhale, lift. Exhale, press your foot back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press your foot back. Try to keep your knee here and here in line with your hip and keep knitting the front of your belly towards each other. Focus on your breath. And then inhale in. Exhale, press your foot back. And then we'll slowly come out. Back to Tadasana. Back to neutral. The shoulders. Take a natural breath. Again, grounding through your feet. Second side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower your left hand down. And your left knee, catch your foot, your knees together so they touch. Reach here through the right side of your body. Exhale, press the left foot here into your hand. Try to just let that knee travel in line with your hip. And your left foot is coming up and over your left shoulder rather than your right shoulder. So try to keep bringing your right knee back towards the center line. Again, work with your breath here. On the inhale, lift your chest more. On the exhale, press your foot back more. Your right hand reaches forward and slightly up. Your gaze here is slightly forward and up. Ground your standing foot. Keep reminding yourself here to breathe. And then inhale, lift. Exhale, press the foot here back against your hand. And then slowly come out. Then neutral, Tadasana, the shoulders. Take a natural breath. Notice the ground of your feet. So we have dancer's pose again, slightly shorter hold in this round. You might want to come into it slightly stronger. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Bend your knee, catch your foot, bring your knees together so they touch. Reach here through the left side of your body. And then exhale, press the right foot here slowly into your hand. Keep breathing. So work with your breath. Open your chest. 
Press your foot back against your hand, so the foot travels back into your hand rather than you pull, pulling your foot up. And then we'll slowly come out. Tadasana, the neutral. Last one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower your left hand down, bend your knee, catch your foot, bring your knees here together so they touch. Reach here through the right side of your rib cage. Then exhale, press the left foot here, slowly back against your hand. Your left foot travels up and over your left shoulder. Reach your right arm forward and slightly up. Ground your standing foot. Keep your belly here engaged. Then we'll slowly come up. Tadasana. Neutral. Take that natural breath and really feel the ground of your feet. And then we'll come into our counter pose to close the chest and to come into the back of the heart again. Step your right foot to the front and your left foot back. Interlace your fingers. Face the hands behind your skull, behind your head. Inhale, lift your lower belly. Exhale, fold. Now take your forehead here to your knee. Tuck your chin here into your throat and draw your elbows towards your knee. Now bring your elbows towards your knee. Bend your knee as much as you need to to um, meet your forehead. And in this case, you can round your spine and press your feet down and bring yourself all the way up to stand. And then switch your feet here around. Left foot to the front, right foot to the back of your mat. Unless you have sciatica, in this case you can really try and round your spine. If you have sciatica, keep your spine straight. Interlace your fingers, place your hands here behind your head. Inhale, lift your lower belly. Exhale, slowly fold. Take your forehead again towards your knee. Bend the knee as much as you need to. Put the chin into your chest and draw your elbows towards your knee. So then press your feet down and bring yourself all the way up to stand. And then step towards the front of your mat, back to neutral. Take a natural breath and ground here through your feet. So now stepping the feet slightly wider than hip distance apart, and we'll lower down into Malasana, into squat pose. So bend your knees here, drop your hips and place your elbows against the inner knees, and lift out of your lower back. Draw your shoulders down, and really try to lift your chest up. Soften into your hips. Nice long spine, relax your shoulders here slightly. Then gentle reminder to keep breathing. And we'll slowly come out. So we're going to come into plank. We're going to hold plank here for one whole minute. And I will tell you when that minute will start. So come down to your elbows. And you can place your elbows underneath your shoulders. Interlace your fingers. Tuck the toes here. Bring your whole body parallel to the mat. Or drop down onto your knees. Slightly easier version of plank. You can cross your ankles behind your back. Draw your heels towards your bum. Now your minute for plank will start now. So round your upper back slightly. Drop your hips here so you feel your core, your belly switch on. Draw your cube bone lightly towards your belly button. Your hip points and rib points here towards each other. Press your elbows down so you feel your wrap and feel yourself around your upper back slightly. If it becomes too much, you can always drop your knees, cross your ankles behind your back, and you drop your hips just a little bit lower. Now stay focused on your breath here. Really allow yourself to be carried by your breath. So stay here, keep breathing. We have about 15 seconds left. And then bend your knees and press back to 
child's pose. If you feel bum here, back towards your heels, when you rest your forehead on the mat, or you tuck your arms here back. Allow your hips here to settle. And maybe gently rock the hips out. Again, by tucking the arms back, you can give your shoulders a rest and really come into the awareness of the back of your heart. And we'll slowly move forward and kind of lie down on your belly. So make your way down onto your belly. So these are now the few back bends here on the belly. Really good for digestion, but also for opening the beginnings of the front of the heart. And we'll start with low cobra first. So hands underneath the shoulders. You can start with your chin on the mat and your forehead on the mat. Keep your feet mat width apart. If you have a sensitive lower back, or keep your feet here together. On your inhale, lift your chest up. So your hands here hover above the mat and lightly brush the mat. So you can peel your belly and chest away from the floor and squeeze the back of your body here towards each other. And slowly come out. Stack the palms. Place your forehead onto stack palms and just gently rock out your hips, gently rock out your bum. Now reach back with your hands, coming into Shalabhasana, and then chin on the mat or forehead on the mat. On the inhale, lift your chest up, lift your arms up, also lift your legs here up. So try and hold on to the softest part here on your belly again. Inhale, lift, exhale, pressure your feet back. Take one more breath here. And then slowly come out. Stack the palms, place your forehead onto stack palms, and just gently rock out your hips. Then bend your knees. Catch your feet here in your hands. Try to stop your knees here from drifting away from each other. Again, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, press the feet back against your hands. Squeeze your shoulder legs towards each other. And you can come into that slight rocking motion. And you lift the chest and press the feet here back against your hands. And then slowly come out. And then again, press back to child's pose. And take those few breaths here. And inhale, slowly come up. And move to the front of your mat so you have space to fall back on. Get the big toes to touch and take the knees as wide as the mat. We're going to come into saddle. Reverse the hands behind your back, lift your chest, get up, scoop your tailbone under, settle your tailbone then between your heels, stay on your hands or lower down into your elbows, maybe lower all the way down onto your shoulders. If your shoulders are touching the mat, you might want to take your arms up and over, press your knees down, press your toes, and keep sending your tailbone here forward. Keep reminding yourself to breathe. So you come out, pop up onto your elbows, lift yourself up, and then come back to child's pose briefly in Balasana. Now slowly come up. And you can fold your mat in if you have sensitive knees. We're going to come into our last back bend. We need to camel pose. Place your knees on the double end of your mat, tuck your toes here, sit back onto your heels, catch your toes, try to spread them out, try to get every single toe to touch the mat, and really feel the meridians of your feet here opening up. Now lift yourself up onto your knees, take your hands into your lower back, support your lower back, and knit the front of your belly towards each other. Lift your chest up, squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades towards each other. Stay here, or maybe drop back. Catch the heels here in your hands, lift your chest up, 
Maybe drop your head and neck all the way back. If it's too much to drop your head and neck back, just keep looking down your chest. Wherever you are with your head, try to keep your eyes here open and try to keep looking down the line of your nose. Not to come out, support your lower back, squeeze your upper legs, slowly come out and back to Vyalasana. Inhale, slowly come up. And come up onto your knees. Take your hands into your lower back. Then support your lower back. Knit the front of your belly towards each other. Gently feed your hips forwards. Your toes can be tucked, or this one may be untucked the toes. So really coming into that open chest, open heart space. Gently start to drop back. Maybe drop your hands all the way back to catch your feet. Focus on opening the front of your chest. Lift your chest up to the ceiling. Feed your hips here forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press your hips towards the front. And then to come out, support your lower back. Squeeze your upper legs. Slowly come out and come back to child's pose. So when we really work into the heart space, it makes us feel sometimes dizzy, sometimes a little bit wobbly. It's not really natural to walk into any situations with the heart completely open. So it can make, it can make us feel a little bit vulnerable. And sometimes when we come into this heart space, things come up. In every yoga practice, I try and encourage everyone to just to observe it, not to try and judge it, but just to be with it. So slowly come out of child's pose, come to sit. And lengthen here both legs. We're going to come into a forward fold. Roll the inner thighs. Maybe walk your sit bones back. Press the heels on point your toes here up. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, slowly start to fold forward. And just let your hands land where they need to land. Come up slightly on the inhale. We exhale, chest forward. Top of your head here forward. Eventually here. Drop your head. Try to keep your legs engaged evenly. Move the chest forward, moving the top of your head forward. And try to keep your feet here square. And inhale, slowly come up. And we'll make our way down onto our back. So come and lie down. Come into our hip opener to release the hips and the lower back. So place your right ankle just above your left knee. Thread the needle. Take your right hand through the gap between your legs. Catch the hamstrings. Catch your shin. Gently draw your left knee here towards your chest. Roll out your right hip. Keep your right foot here. And slowly release the hands. Switch your legs here around. So place your left ankle just above your right knee. Thread the needle. Take your left hand through the gap between your legs. Catch the hamstrings. Catch your shin. Gently draw your right knee here towards your chest and roll out your left hip, keeping your left foot here flat.
and slowly release the hands. Bring your knees here together and drop both knees here to the left. Take the right arm out to the side, keep the right shoulder close to the mat. So you can send the breath into the right side, the right side, the right side of your body. And slowly bring your knees back into your chest. Again, keep your knees here together. Drop them over to the other side. Take your left arm here out to the side. Keep your left shoulder close to the mat and see if you can set the breath now into the left side of your body. Left side. And so you draw both knees back into your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a squeeze. Take a big, deep breath in. Nice exhale out. And place your feet here on either side of your mat and just let your knees here drop together so they touch. Take your arms here slightly wide and we'll finish with three line breaths. In the exhale, the line breath, you open your mouth, you stick your tongue out and press the air up from the base of your belly. So exhale everything naturally out right now. Then inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. And stay here like this, with your knees get touching. Or slowly slide your legs down the mat, and lie down in Shavasana. Really take up as much space as you feel comfortable or blankets or anything that makes you feel comfortable. And bring your awareness to the back of your heart. So send your more back, space between your shoulder blades and feel as if you're spreading out from there, as if you're really slow growing puddle. Really try to drop your chest and soften your belly. Try to let go of anything you still feel like you're holding on to. Soft face, soft jaw. Move your arms or hands, legs or feet. You really feel your whole body being claimed by gravity. And try to. Just take these few moments to surrender into that conscious rest.
very, very slowly. Begin to come back into your body and just take a few deeper breaths. Begin to move your hands, your fingers, your feet, your toes, and if it feels good, maybe stretch out over. And then draw one knee into your chest and the other knee into your chest. Slowly roll to the right. Just rest your face here on your right upper arm. Stay here for a few breaths. Just very slowly and when you're ready, bring yourself up and come into a comfortable seat. And try to keep your eyes here closed. Place your hands here on your knees or in your lap and just settle into your seat here. You can scan your body, check in with how you feel, and notice the quality of your presence, notice the rhythm of your breath. And bringing the awareness into the heart space. Notice the front, both sides, and the back of your heart. And place both hands either to cover your heart or hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. And just lift your heart up to your hands, lightly tuck your chin, bow your head here to your heart. You're in deep gratitude for your magical body, your powerful mind, your nourishing breath. Deep gratitude towards the simplicity of feeling and being present. And we gently remind ourselves to keep giving and not giving up. Maybe we'll breathe in the unknown and breathe out. Peace. Take a big deep breath into your heart and your hands. Nice exhale out. To all of the hearts. When you are ready, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for joining me again this morning. Thank you, thank you. Tonight we've got yin yoga, which will be a good one again. I'll focus on the heart again, but this time in a very different way, in, um, yin, in the yin way, in the softer way. Um, so join me for that at 7 p.m. I'm back here with Flo tomorrow morning at 9.30. Um, if you've missed any of the class or you want to do something, the YouTube channel is um, up and there's quite a lot of videos there on there now. You can find all the links on the Yard Yoga website. If you have donated, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, if you want to donate, again, details are on the Yard Yoga website. I hope that you can all join me again really.